lithium, the white gold of our times. It's the lifeblood of our smartphones, electric vehicles, and renewable energy storage systems. Today, we are diving deep into the groundbreaking Gulamina Lithium Project in Mali, an initiative that's setting new benchmarks in the global lithium race. But to truly understand the significance of this project, we need to take a step back and explore the historical context. Lithium's journey began as an industrial curiosity, powering ceramics and lubricants in the 20th century. Everything changed in the 1990s when lithium-ion batteries emerged, transforming consumer electronics. By the 2010s, lithium became the cornerstone of the electric vehicle revolution. Countries like Chile, Argentina, Bolivia and Australia became key players in the lithium industry. But one nation recognized lithium's strategic potential early on and made its move, China. In the early 2000s, China strategically invested in lithium mines worldwide focusing on Africa's untapped mineral wealth. Enter Mali, a country with significant hard rock lithium reserves and the Gulamina Lithium Project. Located in the heart of Mali, Gulamina is poised to become one of the largest hard rock lithium mines globally. With a projected 23-year lifespan and the capacity to produce 1 million tons of spodumene concentrate annually, it's a game changer. Unlike brine-based lithium extraction, which is slow and water-intensive, hard rock mining offers faster, more consistent yields. This gives Gulamina a competitive edge over many South American operations. What makes this project truly stand out? First, its scale. Gulamina's reserves are immense, with 15.6 million tons of spodumene concentrate ready for extraction. Second, its strategic partnerships. The Malian government holds a 35% stake ensuring local economic benefits and stability. Finally, its phase-wise approach. Starting with 506,000 tons annually, the project is designed to double its output in phase two. China's role doesn't stop at mining. As the world's largest lithium processor, China dominates the supply chain from raw material to battery-grade lithium. Gulamina's output will feed directly into this ecosystem, reducing China's reliance on external sources. What sets China apart from its competitors isn't just scale, but innovation. From extracting lithium from seawater to recycling it from used batteries, China's advancements are reshaping the industry. These technologies are not just about efficiency, they're about sustainability. The Gulamina project also emphasizes sustainability. Advanced mining techniques minimize land disruption, while partnerships with local communities ensure long-term economic benefits. Compared to its competitors, Gulamina's advantages are clear. Brine-based lithium operations in South America face water scarcity and slow production times. Meanwhile, US and European efforts struggle with scaling up their supply chains. Gulamina's hard rock reserves, paired with China's processing dominance, create an unbeatable combination. And the timing couldn't be better. By 2030, global lithium demand is expected to triple driven by the EV boom and renewable energy storage needs. Projects like Gulamina are crucial for meeting this demand. It's also worth noting China's remarkable progress in brine-based lithium extraction. In regions like Qinghai, China has developed cutting-edge technologies to efficiently extract lithium from salt lakes, reducing costs and environmental impacts. This expertise complements its dominance in hard rock processing, solidifying its leadership in the global lithium supply chain. The Gulamina Lithium Project isn't just a mining venture, it's a blueprint for the future. With its massive scale, sustainable practices, and alignment with China's strategic goals, it's redefining the global lithium supply chain. What are your thoughts on this groundbreaking project? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insights into the technologies shaping our world.